Welcome to Down Home Eating with Candace, and today we have Wendy's. We have here the Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich, which there's a story behind this. Also, we have the garlic french fries for you guys here. I also ordered the Peppermint New Frosty. This is how DoorDash, they, well, Wendy's um, secures it. So they put that on there for you. Of course, you know, I love desserts first. So, sorry, I'm kind of unorganized because I'm kind of aggravated about something, but I'll get into that in a minute. So let's try this peppermint frosty. See how this thing tastes here. All right. And I've been waiting for them this season because I knew it was coming out because I read an article about it. Okay. I swear this probably could be like the strawberry frosty. It does not really taste that peppermint. It tastes good, granted, but I don't really taste the peppermint flavor. I taste a little hint here and there, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? Also, I received, I got, which I never tried from there, is their sugar cookie. Here, you see how big this suck is? Okay, smells like a sugar. <laughs> Okay, tastes good. I'm going to save that for later because I know I like to heat up my cookies like they just came fresh. Also, I ordered a pineapple mango drink here. I'm going to put it to the side a bit. But you guys know, y'all. if y'all been watching me, y'all know I love that. So let's get into this review with this Italian mozzarella chicken sandwich. And I'm going to give you my vent. Y'all know I order from, let's try these fries. Y'all know I order from DoorDash. Okay. First of all. The fries are pretty cold. They're not hot at all. Wendy's, y'all need to tighten up. And they don't give you that much. That was the first thing that I saw. I was like, dang, they don't give you nothing. This is like nothing. As far as garlic flavor, yeah. I takes a little bit. I was better off getting my Baconator fries. This, I won't be getting again. Mm -mm, no. Anyways. But with this, let's try it. This is the mozzarella. Um, I guess, I guess it's a big mozzarella. And that's the chicken and the cheese. And there's bacon. Let me see if I can lift it. There we go. There's bacon on it, too. And it's on this. Uh, that's the sauce that comes out. I guess it's mozzarella sauce or whatever. Let's try it. Okay.
I'll taste the cheese a bit. Mm. Mm. Now what I ordered was the cheeseburger. I don't usually order chicken sandwiches from Wendy's. Because I've had issues with their chicken sandwiches in the past. Of course, you know I got my credit. Because I looked at it, I was like, that's not what I ordered. <laughs> as soon as I opened up, I was like, that's not what I ordered. Where's my burger? And sure enough, they messed up the order. Let me tell you something. That's what you, it comes with it when you order from these places. It's nor and here or there. My son has sent me a TikTok on a review of a dude that was reviewing this. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a review on it as well. For my fam. For my besties, you know. Make sure as far as the taste, it tastes pretty good. It's not saucy at all. I like a little sauce. I would put some ranch dressing or dip it. I do like the bread. The bread is holding up very well. The chicken is cooked good. Now I did order this around 11.30ish. Right now it's 12.19. So. But these fries. Mm -mm. Just get you some regular fries. Especially if you got a. Mm -mm, don't do it. Mm. I will say it's for a big sandwich. So this is definitely going to keep me for the day. Mm -hmm. So I have not done my Thanksgiving shopping. I usually do it the weekend before Thanksgiving. So I'll probably be doing it this Saturday. But I'm off on Wednesday before So that thing is good but on that Wednesday I usually prep I start cutting up my onions my vegetables I start cleaning my collars um I start just prep working you know I go to the dollar store I get the pans the aluminum foil, Ziploc bags, all of that. I go to Walmart. I go get my plates, the long plates that I like, hefty. Um, I just start cleaning. Now, what I'm probably going to do Tuesday, what I love to do, I like to clean my kitchen deep, a deep cleaner. Meaning... I clean the refrigerator in and out. I clean the floors. I, I get rid of stuff that I really don't need. Because, you know, it's almost like a spring cleaning right before a big meal. So, I definitely love doing that. Um, I start boiling potatoes. That's probably number one thing I do. Because I start boiling and I start chopping. So, on that Wednesday, everything is basically prepped and ready. And all I got to do on Thursday is heat up stuff. I'm not really cooking. Now, I do cook my macaroni and cheese on the day of Thanksgiving. 
I'll show y'all pictures in my community post. Just here, uh, check it out. So y'all can see how your girl get down. <laughs> my daughter's supposed to be coming down from Texas. She stays in Houston. So she coming down on Thanksgiving. Which I told her, I said, she was coming earlier. And I said, girl, why you just don't find a ticket on Thanksgiving Day? You don't cook? <laughs> so you good. All you got to do is get off the plane and start going to people's houses. You good? Mm-hmm, so... She gonna be down. I'm happy to see her. We're probably gonna go as a family on that Friday since I'm off like on a brunch. So if you follow me on my personal Instagram, follow me on that. I'll put it up here so you can see her. Or you can just see my my baby and my boo love. So if y'all wanna be nosy. <laughs> And see that. So, um, I did want to talk a little bit about. I did not see the video about this girl that was in Mexico with her supposedly friends. I was at. I was actually on Tay Eats live on Tuesday. I mean, not Tuesday, Thursday, which is today, in the morning. And I was listening to her perspective about it. And I definitely agree with what she was saying. And it definitely hits home for parents to definitely talk to your daughters, talk to your sons even, about listening to your instincts because... If you know you're in a group where you don't get along with another person and y'all supposed to be going on a vacation to all together, I'm not going. I don't like that girl. I don't want to see that girl. This ain't no vacation unless I'm in a reality show and uh, I'm getting paid to go. Somebody's paying for all of this to go and y'all want to see drama. That's reality shows. What happened with that chick now? I know she should have followed her instincts because oh excuse me. I don't know how, the whole gist of what happened, but Lord knows. Signs were there. And what type of friend would let you get hit by another individual i agree the the boys in the video should have stepped in and i talked to my son about him if you on a trip with somebody and these two females trying to go you supposed to be as a man to step in and be like hey, 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 hey first of all we in a foreign country i ain't trying to get in no foreign jail first of all because i'm gonna act like i don't know y'all if y'all want to do this, but the reason why I say that because they, it was premeditated. This was something that was planned in the U.S. If they have a good prosecutor, they will determine that all of this was planned. Just, hmm, let me slow down. If they take all those kids' cell phones and see their interactions of text messages between them. Because don't nobody just go on no plane with everybody and say, Oh, I'm going to whoop her behind when she get up in there in the hotel room. No. All of it was pre-planned. That means it was pre-planned in another jurisdiction. Meaning they were in the United States of America. And as a prosecutor, I would... That would that would be my leeway of, of a loophole of getting around being around a Mexican government. That's that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Because 
they said it was foul play and at first that she was um what was it she, she got um uh uh alcohol poisoning okay you want to throw that out there and then all of a sudden she's dying because of a a fractured spine and she has all these lacerations on her face and whatever no and on top of that why did the fbi from the united states or their embassy over there in the united states let those kids come back into the united states these are questions that these crime shows they need to be up on this one because something ain't right something's not right something either somebody got paid off i don't know if these children got money or they know somebody high up but something ain't it, something stinks about the situation and the reason why i'm i'm getting so passionate about it is because i have a daughter she's right she's right next to um freaking mexico she in texas so god forbid something like that was to happen guess what i would be living in mexico the next freaking week like at the damn police station i would be at the hotel okay we need to bing these cell phones to these churn because something happened <laughs> oh yeah Oh, yeah, I get rowdy about it because I watch too much. Man, I'm sorry I done went over my 15 minutes. I don't I don't watch too much Dateline, 2020, all that down. So, them parents, they need to be investing their money after they bury their child to be living in Mexico to figure out what's going on. You need to be on the state attorney's office on whatever state you're in. And I would try to be putting in a dock or something to seize their cell phones so somebody, a hacker, can get into their phone and figure out if it was premeditated. That means that they knew that the hell they was going to do over in a different country. And they thought they was slick by doing it in a different country because they didn't get it. They didn't get arrested. Boom. Child, and and talk to your kids about it. Just talk to them. Cause I don't play when it comes to my children or in my family. I don't like to see stuff like that. And it's sad that now that they're in the United States that they hide it now. I heard that that one of the dudes or whatever went to the parents' house to drop off the luggage and and threw up a deuce like bye. No, 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 ain't no buy nothing. You're going to come up in here. You're going to tell us. My husband, be on the phone with the police. Get him over here, too, because we all need to have a record of this. Oh, yeah. And my attorney needs to be here, too. Girl, I ain't playing. At this point, they not kids no more. They not. Mm -mm. They're adults. They can handle it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm. I know it's so sad. I will say this is and the meat ain't dry. It's just a dry sandwich. It's not like it needs something like some ranch or some blue cheese, something to go with that that cheese. It is what it is. <laughs> but guys, ooh. But guys, I'm not, I, oh, let me do my shout outs. Let me do my shout outs. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. First shout out. I want to grow. I want to congratulate Nicole C for making 1K subscribers. Oh my gosh. Now she has a giveaway that she's um, going to be announcing. It may be already announced. So go to her channel and make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you are not following her, go ahead and follow and subscribe to her. And click her like notification, watch a couple of videos so you can fall in love with her just like me. All right. And the next one is LaFlora Gang Gang. Go to her channel. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. You know I be butchering people's names. I'm sorry. She's also, she has a Mugblade channel, uh, vlogs, um, little tidbits here and there. So go to her channel and... Do me a favor. 
click the like bucket button, click your notification bells, and subscribe to my channel because I got more coming for you guys. Especially, I'm gonna be off, so I ain't got nothing but sad to show my beautiful face on the YouTube world. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love y'all much. Have a good one. And if I don't talk to you um later, have a good Thanksgiving. Have a good one. Bye-bye.